morning people hope everyone's good hope everyone's blessed well this morning i have a story regarding a time when i got kidnapped yeah i know it sounds tragic i know it sounds horrendous but this is what happened to me so let me get straight to the point but this is just only for educational purposes so young brothers make sure you mind listening young sisters make sure you, you lot are listening too yeah cool so I was 18 now, yeah? I've just come out of jail. Just come out of jail. Stuff, well, I was 19, I just came out of prison. Do you know what I mean? As I came out of prison, I came out of Rochester. I had a fat afro, I was wedge. You know what I mean? I was hench. I thought I was the man. You know what I mean? I thought I was a gallist. I was like, let me get my bread up. So I went to a couple of guys now, innit? A couple, he was a bit older than me, innit? He was from my ends, innit? He was not Somalian. But he was Muslim, innit? But, you know what I mean? He had some food. He had big bits of food, innit? As he had big bits of food... Oi. As he had big bits of food, I was like, yo, I just landed road. I need some grub. Boom. I'm going to start my line in Southall. Bam. You know what I mean? I was, I had a, I had a girl in Southall these times, innit? You know, but this is back in the day, innit? So, I so, said, you know what? I've got a line in Southall. Boom. I'm going to bang out my thing in Southall, innit? I'm going to build a line in Southall. Like, you know what I mean? He's like, cool. So, he's, he's dashed me a half... Half ounce of budge. As he dashed me a half ounce of budge, I flipped that. He came back with the peas, got another half ounce, flipped that. Got a Z now. You know what I mean? Flipping it, flipping it, flipping it, flipping it. But these times, as I'm flipping it, I'm doing so much drastic things. I'm drinking, I'm partying, I'm, um, I'm smoking. You know what I mean? I'm catching cab here, there. So I'm not really saving any of the money that I'm making. But at the end of the day, what happened was, I must have had a, bit, a batch of food. I must have got a reload off him. I owed him like an ounce and a bit, yeah. I got a reload of him, yeah, and I must have bagged it up now. As I bagged it up, I must have plotted it somewhere, yeah. As I plotted it somewhere, I've come back to the stash, and the food was not there anymore. So I'm like, boy. So I rang my man. I said to my man, boy, like I don't have grub in it. You know what I mean? The grub's gone missing. I've stashed it somewhere. I told him the situation. Well, the gentleman, he's like, you know what? I'm not hearing none of that. I want my money in 48 hours. This is where it flips. This is where people flip. At first, they're nice to you. At first, they'll buy you a burger. At first, they'll buy you a drink. At first, they'll buy you a jaw. They'll give you a spliff. You know what I mean? They'll make you relax. They'll come see you. They'll give you their time that they care. But once you're trapped, that's it. It's over. You're in the game. So you, man, make sure you listen to this. So now I'm in debt. All right, cool. But now he's ringing me. He's ringing me. Two days have gone past. I ain't got the money in it, so... I'm airing the phone, isn't it? I'm airing the phone. One of the older brothers from my area has called me now. I don't know. He's doing this and Jason Bond thing. He's doing. He's playing both sides, isn't it? So I'm like, raw. What's going on? He said, you're right. Yeah, man. Yeah, I just spoke to my man, isn't it? Oh, obviously my man saying he's looking for you. He needs his peas. So I've dropped it in the way. So bro, my man needs to relax until I've got his money for him. But he's remixed the whole bars. He's gone back to my man and said, yo, my man said he's not paying you. Like, it's so cool, isn't it? So now man's furious. But watch this now. This is why I'm so, this is why I'm so skeptical. I'm thinking how on earth was the person there at that time when I rang someone else. So I'm I'm in my hostel now, yeah? I'm in the YMCA in Elam Border, St. Mary's Road. I'm chilling in my hostel, bam. I get a phone call from my older brother and he's bridging, in it. Both of them, innit? So you are gone good. We say da 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 da. Um, this time, oh yeah, he's bridging. I was trying to get some food off my my brother's bridging. So I was like, yeah, let me get a queue of budge or something, innit? And then he was like, ah, right, cool. Meet me at that spot, Yatesies, Elamboli. If you guys remember Yatesies back in the day, there used to be a little club or a little bar thing called Yatesies. Meet me outside Yatesies, and I'll come back here and give you the thing. So I'm making my way up to Yatesies. Don't think when I got to Yatesies, oh, I got swarmed on. I'm like, wow. So five man, five man has to come from every angle. So I'm like, what? But what's the first thing? You're going to dash. So I've dashed, yeah. As I dash now, what happens? Bam. One of them's clamped me now. So I'm just struggling off. Get off me, innit? I had a little sides on me, innit? These times. So I'm like, ah. Trying to shrug man off. Get off me. Get off me, innit? These times. Ah. I'm knackered, bro. I'm like, fine. 
gave me these handouts from Pakistani brothers come. I remember that day, so Pakistani brothers came. They was like, oh, what's the matter? What's the matter? Why has the brother done? Like, we'll pay in it. Like, we'll pay some change in it. Allow the brother in it. Allow the brother. And I was saying, nah, nah, I'm back here as well. I'm a Muslim. Don't worry, man. This is personal. Like, da, 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 da. So anyway, I end up getting napped now, yeah? I didn't do the screaming thing. Ah, help! Ah! None of that. It was not happening, innit? So, um, yeah. So what happens now? So I've got. So I'm in, I'm in the back of the car. When I mean when I'm in the back of this car, the trauma, the and then trauma, the way they try to traumatize me, the way they try to break me down mentally. Oh, watch when we get you in the park. We're gonna break your kneecaps off. Then what? And after we break your kneecaps off, we're gonna get pliers. We're gonna take out your nails. We're gonna break your nose. We're gonna take out your back tooth. We're gonna do this. God knows. I was told the world. I thought I was going to get tortured now. So now what they've done was they've got my trainers just in case I'm wrong. So they've got my trainers, they've got my laces in it, both of my laces tied up to get in it so I couldn't run. So I'm there, I'm getting frog marched. I've got friend march into Active Vale Estate now, yeah? I've gone into Active Vale Estate now. Bam, 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 bam. The guy, watch this now. You see how I'm not a man of my post? The man of my dickheads, bro. Watch this. The guy's rang my man back, one of the oldest. I'm not going to say his name in it, like, I'm not going to try it. Get me embarrassed him like that, but he rang my man back in it. And my man's like, Yo, I'm with my man right now in it. I'm with Gulen right now. What did he say? He said, Nah, it's not even that, my bro. Like, da -da. he said, Bro, shut up before I come grab you. When I heard that, I said, You betrayed me for that. You betrayed me for that. Nah, man. Niggas are washed, fam. Watch this now, yeah? Anyway, he's really chatting to him, chatting to him, chatting to him. I've got my other bridging though. My my other bridging's doing a thing with my man, innit? But my bridging now, he knows man, innit? It's like rah rah rah. So I'm thinking, is this what man doing? Is this what man doing? But I'm getting bare threats, but nothing's happened to me, but boy, because he knew who I was or who knew the people that I was around or like he didn't really want to do anything drastic. But this guy he would have done the mad thing. And after that, two years, three years later, he ended up doing the mad thing where he tortured someone, he burned them, he done so much things, innit? If you know, then you know, innit? And he's actually doing prison time for it at the moment as we speak, innit? Um, so yeah, he's about that life, innit? And he would damn, he'd do the damn thing, innit? But, like, obviously God was my, on my side this day, innit? So nothing didn't really happen to me. Um, he rang my brethren up, my brethren spoke to me and said, Yo, good head man, I don't know what's going on, but I'm going to get you out of this, and, and this pickle that you're in, innit? So he said, yeah, was, so he's telling my brethren, boy, so what, are you telling me you're taking his debt, yeah? Are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure? He asked him three times. He said, yeah. He said, alright, cool, say no more. So I'm there, I'm thinking in my head, motherfucker, what, bro? I'm thinking, who am I anger at? The person that told him this, huh? Or uh, uh, the person that I want to end up going linking to go and get that food from outside the Aixies, or myself. So the moral of the story is this day and age, man will sell you dreams. I know you want to come out and road. I know you want to come out here and make your peace. I know you want to get red bottoms. I know you want to look drippy. Brother, allow it, man. Take time, man. Wallahi, if you went to work a 95, yeah, with no stress over your head, with no police looking at you, with no obble, with no opses, bro, you make 300, 400 pounds. You get me? Man, that's what you get roughly, innit? Averagely, that's what you're making it. If you're putting in your shifts, innit? Bro, man. I prefer you to go do that. I would advise you to go do that. Or lie it, bro. Keep your head down. You know what I mean. Um, make sure you get me. You've got a goal. You have got a plan. Always keep God next to you, man. You understand? He'll make everything easier for you. Yeah. But make sure you got a plan. Cause God can't bless something if it's not there. You understand? If you know what you're gonna do, and you've got a plan, and you've got a path, you got um, you got a destination to hit that um, that goal, or that career, or whatever. Then bro, you know what I mean? Everything will be easier. But if you ain't got a plan, then what is meant what's God meant to work or make happen? Do you know what I mean? So yeah man, I hope you guys learned a lot from that. You know what I mean? Don't consign no more food don't consign food. You know what I mean? Don't think ah oh, oh, this is the last option. Um nah man, there's millions of options. The devil's just telling you that's the only option that you've got. You know what I mean? And don't let man sell you. Don't let man be too nice to you, innit? Because there's always there's always um, a hidden agenda. You know what I mean? People got a hidden agenda. A lot of people ain't genuine out here. You understand? People like to play a good game, innit? So don't be a pawn. Be a king. 
and stand up and be something that you want to be. Be something. Make your mum proud, bro. You understand? Forget about everyone else. Uh, make all your proud. And yeah, man. Hope you guys learned something from this. And stay blessed. Stay tuned. And yeah, in a bit, guys. Bless. And yeah, subscribe, like, comment, YouTube. You know, you know, you know what I'm going in it. So yeah, love. More, more content coming your way. Love, respect.